Hello, today I'm going to be filming a Christmassy get ready with me. Like, I'm not actually going anywhere particularly special today, but I thought I'd film a video with this new Too Faced Extra Spicy Gingerbread Palette. Um, yeah, I got this in the Black Friday sales. I think it was like £34 or something, which is quite cheap for Too Faced. So I got it on ASOS, so I'll try and link it down below if I can. Um, yeah, I hope you like this video. Please like and subscribe if you want to, and let's get started. Um, I'm very conscious about this. One, because um, I'm actually filming on my like back camera on my phone purely because I know the quality is a lot better. But that also means I can't see what I'm filming right now. Like I have just put my mirror behind the camera to see if it's okay. So hopefully it should be, but I'm sure we'll see if this video makes it to the internet. Um, also, my washing is going to be done in about 10-15 minutes, so I might have to like cut it off at some point and then come back to it. But anyway, I'm just going to get on with it. I've also bought some other new makeup products as well. So, I'm going to start with the Revolution Hydrate and Prime Primer. I'm just going to put some of this on my skin now. So it's quite like liquidy as you can see. Um, yeah, as you can see, I've broken out a little bit. Like, my spots were a lot worse, like, a few days ago. But they've kind of gone down now. And I also used a Champanese face mask last night, like an overnight one. And that has really helped massively. So I just want, like, a little bit of a glue. Concealer next. And one concealer I have been loving is the Revolution Conceal and Define Conceal. I've got it in the shade C3. It is like, it's a lot, because I was using, if you watch my previous, previous, previous Get Ready With Me, I was using the Fit Me Concealer. But as you can see, they are literally like two different colors. Like, and this one suits my pink toned skin a lot more. So yeah, I'm gonna go with this one first. I think this is very similar to the Tarte Shape Tape, which obviously I can't afford. So <laughs> I get the cheap stuff instead. So I'm gonna go under my eyes with that. And then over all these beautiful spots. <laughs> I'm going to use my Real Techniques, um, what is this called? Blending sponge with the Revolution Glow Fix Illuminating Fixing Spray. I've still got a little bit of my other fixing spray left, but I thought I wanted to try a new one. So I'm just going to go over all of that. So you can see I've only done one layer of concealer and it's already like got such nice coverage. Um, yeah, but what I do do, just because this one is slightly lighter, I could just go under my eyes again with this. But it doesn't, like, the Revolution one doesn't feel cakey at all or anything. Like, it feels the same as this light one, but it's just got really high coverage. So I'm just going to go under my eyes. And then I'm going to powder using my L'Oreal True Match Powder um, with my, oh this is still a bit wet this brush, lovely, um, with my Real Techniques Buffing Brush. You'll probably notice I use the wrong brushes for like parts of my makeup but it's just what works for me so. Oh this brush is actually really wet, it's actually kind of gross. <laughs> I hope the lighting's okay, I'm kind of like sat with the window coming at me this way so if there's a shadow here that's why. Um, yeah, and then this is in the shade, I think it's called Rose Ivory, so again it's got that pinky undertone which is perfect for me. Um, and then I'm going to go in with my uh, Maybelline Colour Tattoo 24 Hour Cream Eyeshadow in the shame, in the shame, in the shade Creme de Nude. So I'm going to put it on my eyelids. As you can see, I've got a Christmas jumper on. I actually was in a, a charity shop in Bath. It was one like right at the top of the high, not even the high street. Like if you know Bath, there's like basically where the Royal Crescent is. There's like a load of like really old side streets, um, and there's a charity shop up there called Mercy in Action, which is actually a boutique one. So it's actually from New Look, but obviously, it is. Um, it's from like I got in the charity shop for, like five quid, so. so I don't actually own any Christmas jumpers. This one just says "Kiss me under the mistletoe." I'll do like a proper um, mirror, long mirror one there in a minute. Anyway, I'm rambling. <laughs> um, then I'm gonna go in with. I always do my eyebrows before everything else. I don't really know why, but yeah, I'm gonna go in with my Ruby Cosmetics eyebrow powder. I'll probably cut this out because it's just boring. <laughs> I always got my eyebrows done though the other day. I always get, when I'm in Bath, I get them done in the super drug, which is like along the same bit as like Poundland. The woman in there is like really good and she knows me, so. <laughs> and then when I'm back home and I'm in like Guildford, I usually get it done like downstairs by 
Hollister, so that's where I get my eyebrows done. So I'm back, I've collected my washing, I've done my eyebrows, so if I sort this mirror out again. Oh, what is up with this baby? Can you see that? That is not cute. <laughs> um, right, anyway, I'm gonna sort that out later. Why is that gone so annoying? Anyway, I'm just straighten that later. So I'm gonna do start my Too Faced Extra Spicy palette. So I have not used this at all yet, so this is a new experience for me and you both. Um, so I'll just cover the mirror. I'm trying to be a pro YouTuber that I'm not. Um, so it's mainly like matte shades, I would say. Yeah, there's more matte than shimmer, which is quite unusual for me. Like I do like a shimmery eye. But I feel like this palette, I do think I'll use all the colours. Probably not this Midnight Snack one, but like I do literally love the rest of it. Um, and it does smell of gingerbread too. So I don't know what to go for today. Um, I think it will be something quite neutral as I said it's during the day. So I'm going to start off with... I think I'm going to go with plenty of dough, just in my like crease and stuff. So I'm going to get this fluffy Dulux crease brush and just go in with that. Oh, okay. So there's quite a lot of fallout, I must say, but I think it's a new palette. So I'm just going to go over my like outer crease. I'll do it in this mirror actually so you can actually see what I'm doing. Literally, I don't understand how like beauty makeup YouTubers like do it. Like, it's so hard to know where to look and like if like you're in shot and stuff. I mean, it probably would help if I actually had a proper camera, but you know, can't afford that. <laughs> so we'll just stick with the iPhone for now. Um, okay, then next I'm gonna go in with I think soft and sweet, which is this one up here. So I'm just gonna use my number seven contour brush or like eye contour brush. So. So I'm going to like blend that out and like up. So I won't go as far into my eyelid as I did with the other one. So these colours are already making my eyes like really pop. Because obviously I've got blue eyes so these like warm tones are really good for blue eyes. There's something really satisfying about using a new eyeshadow palette as well. I mean, I don't really buy makeup a lot. Like, this, like, Too Faced one was my first ever, like, sort of high-end purchase. And, like, I've already hit pound it, but it is, like, three years old. So this is the Too Faced Natural Eyes. So, as you can see, I've used this one very well. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to treat myself to a new one. Um, yeah, but I literally use this on, like, a daily basis. This one on the outside. I might use it for the Graham, which I'm guessing is reference to, like, Golden Grahams or something. So again, I'm going to use this same brush and just go over that on the outside. Oh, there's quite a lot of fallout on that one. Um... Oh yes, I like this. I really like this. Like as I was saying, I don't really have many orangey eyeshadows, so this is really nice. Because I was looking at the like Huda Huda Beauty ones, but I thought they seemed quite expensive for what they were. But I know NYX does a dupe, but like I just wasn't sure. And then when I saw this on the Black Friday sale, I was like, you know, I'm getting this one. Because I was going to get the Too Faced um, Sweet Peach palette, but there was a lot of colours in it. I thought, you know, I'm not actually going to use those. Um, See, so yeah, I kind of went off that idea quite quickly. And then I'm going to go in with, I think I'm going to go with Lick the Spoon, which is this kind of champagne-y colour down here. And just sort of use that all over my lid. Okay, there's not as much fallout on that glittery one. I'm just going to go over all of that. I think if I really wanted to make this like eyeshadow look really pink, I'd probably use a like pink base underneath it. But obviously, where it's going to be quite a neutrally daytimey one, I'm not going to bother. This is so nice though, I'm really liking this. I said I just don't really have any orangey colours, so I thought this was perfect. And then I think maybe in my inner corner I might use cookie cutter. Um, just because it's slightly lighter. And then I'm going to go back in with plenty of dough just over the rest of my lid. 
Or lick the spoon, sorry, not plenty of dough. Plenty of dough was like the matte orange one at the beginning. So that is the eyes. I'm very pleased with this. As I said, it's, it's like natural, but it gives you your eyes like a nice pop of colour. Um, so I'm just going to even that out a little bit. So I'm going to go with gold, go with the grey again, just over this. As you can see, it's like that eyeshadow has gone higher than the other one. I'm just going to go over that at the top. And I feel like if you wanted to make this more like eveningy, you could probably add like black in your like outer crease. But obviously it's daytime, so it did also come with this like um, glamour guide of like different eye looks. I'll probably like that one looks so nice. So I'll probably try that at some point. Um, but as I said, because I'm not really doing anything, there's no point in me doing like, loads of eyeshadow and all that. So yeah, that's eyes done while she's put mascara on. Um, so I'm gonna do that quickly. Again, I bought a new one of these lash sensations because my other one got really like gross and disgusting so yeah i usually buy a new mascara maybe every like three or four months so i i use like the curvy side first just to get like sort of more curled eyelash because i don't have any eyelash curlers so i just kind of do this way um no i'm gonna use this mirror because i feel like i'm looking too far away over there um So yeah, this definitely gives my eyelashes like a lift. And I do like one layer on my bottom lashes. I know so many people are like, oh, I shouldn't put eye like mascara on your bottom lashes, it makes your eyes look really dark. But I just feel like I look really weird if I don't have it on my bottom lashes. Like, let's have no eyelashes at all on my bottom. Because you wear my hair so blonde. But whilst I'm doing this, I think I'm going to talk through my Christmas plan. So basically, I go home from university on Friday, probably when this is uploaded. Um, yeah, so I'm going home then. My dad's picking me up to take me back to my mum's house because she's at like, like work Christmas day. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm going home this Friday, but before then, today I'm not really doing much. Uh, well, I'm seeing my friends for coffee, and then tomorrow I'm in uni like all day, um, and then I've got like meetings and stuff in the evening. And then Wednesday, what am I doing Wednesday? Wednesday we're going out like clubbing as a sort of a flat. I say as a flat, but, like with people all next door as well that I'm living with next year. And then Thursday night we're doing like a flat Christmas meal, which I'm really excited for. Yeah, and then I said Friday I'm going home, so this week's just going to fly by, I feel like. Yeah, and then when I'm home, my mum was like, oh, I haven't got any Christmas decorations, can you pick them up when you're home in the weekend? I said, yeah, sure. So, see, so yeah, I think this weekend I'm literally going to have such a chilled out weekend because obviously this weekend just got my family account the weekend before my friend came up. So I'm just kind of excited to have a little weekend to myself of just like not entertaining other people. Um, Yeah, and then... I think Tuesday I've got a dentist appointment and then the like Saturday the 21st I'm going up to London to see family. So yeah, sort of between, I think in that week I'm just going to crack on with the university work just so it's kind of like mostly done because as, as I said I've got like another load of deadlines in January so I just kind of want to be on top of things. So that's my mascara. I know it's a bit messy right now but I do always tidy up like at the end. <laughs> do bronzer next. So... I, at the moment, I'm using this Kiko, I don't know what palette this is called. It's just called a face palette in the sh in the shade number one. I think it's like a light one, obviously, because I'm very pale. And I'm going to use the bronzer from this to kind of contour my face a little bit. I feel like I was like such an idiot when I do that. <laughs> and then I just round my temples as well. As you can see, it's very, very light, so if you've got quite a fair skin like me this is perfect and I just, you put a little bit down my um, chin as well and then I also kind of do another bronzer which is slightly darker this is the L'Oreal blonde harmony glam bronze so it's kind of made for people with like fair skin and like fair hair and then with that I use the um I use the blush brush but just because it's slightly bigger it just kind of covers more of my face <laughs> and then I just take that down my neck as well And then again, just over my sort of forehead. And I'll do a little bit just down my nose just to kind of balance everything out. So you can see, this gives you like a little nice bit of colour. Like this has got a tiny bit of shimmer in, whereas this one is just completely matte. So, yeah. And then after that, I'm going to go in with... I usually mix this kind of like hot pink colour with like one of these two. But as it's sort of like daytime, I think I'm going to mix it with this like really light one. Like I used to think this was a highlighter, but when I started putting it on as a highlighter, it just looked way too dark. So yeah, I'm definitely going to use it more as like a sort of a very light blush. 
because I kind of I kind of got out of the habit of wearing blush, but then I was, now it's all winter, my skin just looks pale. It's just nice to put a bit of flush on your skin. I just realised I'm using the same contour brush, but it's fine. So just kind of dust that along the apples of my cheeks and all that. Again, I might use my blush brush sometimes. It just depends how I'm feeling, really. <laughs> At this point, I usually just kind of try and blend out lines with my buffing brush. Oh, the sun's coming out now. Um, yeah, so I just do that. And then I'm just going to do a, just a bit of highlighter. as Because I'm not really doing anything today. I'm just going to go and really light. And I'm going to use the highlighter from this palette. This palette, this like duo, I don't really know. But it's kind of matte, but not... But there is obviously a bit of glitter to make it highlighter. But it's not as like super shiny as, say, something like that. So it's really stuff to wear this mainly on like a daily basis, like uni. And then I'll use a Nanchi fan brush. Can you see? There's like a slight glow there. Um, and then I just go over my nose with that as well. You know, you're meant to highlight all the like high points of your face or something like that. And then I just do it over my cupid's bow too. Yeah, it really works nicely down here, actually. Um, and then I'm going to choose a lipstick that I'm not sure of yet. <laughs> I think as I'm going really natural today, I'm going to use my L'Oreal Paris Lip Paint in the shade Dead Lips. I'm going to use the, this is really old, the Rimmel London Tiramisu Lip Liner. What is that? I'm so confused about what it is. Yeah, let me know what you're doing for Christmas down below. So yeah, I kind of stopped talking. So yeah, so the next week I'm not really doing much other than just seeing family. And then for actual Christmas period, I think probably the day before Christmas Eve, I'll go and see my dad and my little brother. And then Christmas Eve, me and my mum and my brother usually go down to like a pub and just have food and stuff and walk the dog. And then my brother usually goes out drinking, so he's quite hungover on Christmas Day. <laughs> and then me and mum, you stay in and watch a film. And then Christmas Day, I always head down to my grandparents' house. And just, like, again, so the family, my mum's side of the family I'm seeing in London next Saturday. I, like, I, I usually see them on Christmas Day as well. And then, um, yeah, the sort of Boxing Day, we're seeing some of my dad's side of the family. And then after that, I'm not actually sure what I'm doing for New Year's Eve yet, like, <laughs> which is really bad, but... Literally, I have no idea. I might be going to London with my brother to watch the fireworks, but we will see. So I'm just going to put my lipstick on now. In terms of YouTube, like, I've got this video film. I've got another video pre-filmed, and that's kind of it. So I'm a bit low on Christmas, uh, Christmas ideas, on um, video ideas, but I'm sure I'll think of something. Like, I've got a few things in my notes. I think I will film what I got for Christmas. I don't know when or, like, how much of it I will film, but... I would definitely film some sort of Christmas haul or something. So that is the lipstick. I might just put a little bit of gloss in the middle because I feel like my eyes are very matte and my lips are very matte. So <laughs> I just feel very kind of matte today. I'm going to use this one from Boutique, which I think is a brand from Sainsbury's. It's just a nude, yeah, a nude lipstick in the shade Mum's The Word. So I'm just going to put that over the top of my lips. It's really nice. Like, as you can see, it's a gloss, but it's quite pigmented. Yeah, it just gives you like a little bit more shine. But I feel like matte lip glosses and stuff are really good for making your lips look bigger. So I kind of always start with one of those and put gloss over the top. And that is my makeup complete. I hope you enjoyed this video. Quite chilled, but like I really just wanted to try out that new gingerbread palette, and I've really enjoyed using it. I think I'll definitely use it more over this kind of festive period. It'll be so nice for autumn as well. Um, but yeah, please like and subscribe if you like this video. Let me know any videos you want to see down below. Like I'd love to know, and I will see you soon. Bye.